Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is the Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake Accessory Set. Uh, and now I got this from AliExpress, it was pretty cheap. I know that these are retailing on, on some places for like a lot of money. This was I think 30 to 40 quid because they put tax and things on it so it depends on where you get it from but I'll put a link underneath hopefully um, showing you where I got it from but yeah this came from AliExpress um, it does have let me see that under there T and T toys with a barcode thing on it authentic um, so yeah I don't know whether these are real this could be a reissue because I know I've looked on the back it has the floaty the floaty Jason and the problem with that is that as you can see with this that's the wrong Jason it should be the more rotting corpse version that is from uh, yeah that's the yeah that's it, they're the wrong Jason that is the wrong Jason um, that is the right Jason that is wrong Jason but they could have maybe used that one because that one's the more and it's got more of the wet look but in fact I think yeah that could be the ooh um I've picked some Jasons to go with the set with the you know to be on the the on the display so yeah but I know that the Jason the correct Jason for that is the next one that they're releasing if ever they release it but it is on its way so yes let's have a look at what we've got here so we have Friday the 13th um, there is a little Jason there in the background just coming out of the lake the dock pretty very short dock that looks it the Camp Crystal Lake light and as you can see from the back there we have the the brick and the the sign so yeah uh, alternative activities sign up create your own chilling diorama with this Friday the 13th accessory set it's full of iconic pieces and sized perfectly for seven inch scale figures sold separately set includes Camp Crystal Lake sign dock base rock and sign base with chain attached and figure to recreate Jason floating at the bottom of the lake. Figure sold separately. Some excess assembly required. It's kind of weird they've got swim lessons. Please check at all life vests. Yeah. So it looks interesting. Um, on the top we have Friday 13th Conquest Lake accessory set and a necker. Dead on that side. Uh, same down that side and underneath um, mm -mm, and the barcode so there we go if anybody can scan that barcode and see what that comes up with yep yeah, yeah. yeah right so yeah is this a reissue or is this just one that was cheaper to buy online I do not know there we go Put that open Let's see what's inside oh so we have in here a plastic tray with all the bits held in uh, anything else in there no nope, no instructions or anything in there so we have to make this up as we go along right so at the top we have pillars we have a, a transparent piece there the rock with the chain uh, some more chain light fitting oh yeah Okay, all held in with white plastic cable ties. So let's see. Chop through that one. Chop through that one. All right, so that bit. Missed a bit, but never mind. nice if they'd have had some kind of instructions let me put the box where I can see it there we go you know some kind of just 
but I guess that's what the pictures on the back of the box are for. So that I guess is, I've always wondered how they made him look like he was floating. Let me give me a minute. Ah. Oh, okay. You can just about to sit on the back of that. So that, those plug into there. So that's the thing. Um, sad tape. Sad tape holding this down. Just, um, and chain in. It's a chain. Right, so um, we have picked uh, this Jason to be the victim for this one. That I guess. Hmm. Look at the box. Look at the box. Right. Hmm. hmm. It would have been nice, like I said, if there'd have been some kind of instructions in it. I'm kind of looking at bits in here like, oh, right. that's that bit, that's that bit, but yeah. I'm really not sure how that works. Because there's nothing on the end of there that looks like it. It must go up the back of his shirt. Like that, there we go. Yeah, there we go, so. because he's supposed to be floating so there we go so, we'll do it. so yeah and then you put the chain I guess you'd kind of tie it in a different way but yeah I'll figure some out with that is that what that's for like I say there's those two little bits I'm not sure what they're for but There we go. So you put that over his. Trust me, I picked the only one that doesn't have a removable mask. Hang on a minute. There we go. Take the head off. Right. I've pulled. It. I've pulled it out of the chain. I was pulling it that tight. That's just a link. That'll fix. It needs to be a bit tighter anyway. It goes through there like that. There. Right. So that like that. And that up the back. And you hide that under there like that. Yeah. That looks pretty good. So yeah. That is Drowning Jason. Yeah, I like that. There we go. We'll give you a better view. Hmm. Let me see if I can find a different hand that's less open. That has quite a nice weight to it. And they've used the sign as a, a sort of a stand for it. Yeah. 
right we shall move and as you can see that goes up the back there like that which I never figured that's how they did it but yes we'll put him down there a second right now I've got to try and put this dock together so that's the dock underneath it we had these two pillars so oh on that side let me do it over here cause Very sort of okay. I'm not gonna push that too much because it feels like it may go too far. So that's that. Then the light fitting, I guess. Let's walk with the box again. Light fitting, right? Because it's part of the dock. It comes slightly loose from there as well. There we go. So the dot, yeah, dot goes that way around. And the light fitting. <laughs> Finished. Oh, uh, where's this? Does any of you out there have one of these from the previous releases? And if you do, was it as much of a pain in the tush to put together as this is? I don't want to force these because you know, we all know that Necker figures can be a little fragile, even on a good day. Right, kind of like that. So that's the, the dot made. Let's look at the base. So, yeah, that is the dock. Pretty much built. And see, so we get uh, this Jason. And we stand him. Like so. And now he's in 3D, look at that. It's almost like he's in 3D, look at that. That's big guns coming at you. It's nearly getting you. It's nearly getting you. It's nowhere near you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. It's a nice, it's going to be a nice way to display because some of these Jasons standing on the shelf do look a little bit samey, the, the first few. So yeah, that's made that a more interesting a more interesting figure. Right, so let's move him over there for a moment. Yeah, he's surely on that post. Right, we shall now try and build the last bit, which is the sign. Ah, right, I found out those two little bits of chain across. Luckily, I did not lose them on the floor because they are for this sign. Right. All right, so that's that, that, and that. And now that's going to go uh, with the box again. Uh, and show the oh, right, so the a minute. All right. So they're going to go that way, or that way, it's going to go that way. Or that way. So those pegs are shaped. Let's see if it'll fit on this end. Right, that one fit. So, that one must be right. Me a 
a second. Just sing amongst yourselves while I... Guess what I did? I broke it. Wow. Okay, so that is... That is not going to want to go on there. And I don't know why that don't want to go on there. Where's the... Where's the knife? Let me just... There we go. Bit of wow, that is definitely I'm not wanting to plug in there. Okay, give me a minute and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got to this point now. Um, I don't really want to move this because these little hooks here are very pernickety about staying. Let me do it this way. Those little hooks there, you get that side on, that side comes off. You get that side on, that side comes off. You get that side, yeah, did it, did it. Not, not a lot of fun. And also, for some reason, that bit won't plug in there right, and I couldn't get that to glue back on. It's like that. So as you, I mean, that's not great, but as you were trying to force that in there, and I will work at that, because I think it just needs to be made a little bit bigger. Um, that pretty easy job just a bit of super glue on there and that will stick back on to there but yes um i say i didn't watch any videos because i don't like to watch videos of other people reviewing things before i review them because then i feel like it taints my review but yeah it has like i say um a stand which is nice yeah i like it it's gonna be a little bit of work there is um, a fake, I don't know, a fake bulb in there, so you know it's not going to light up, but it will look nice as part of a diorama. You could always, I could always leave that off and just say, you know, Jason broke it off. But mm, as a set, um, what I paid for it is a good price. I would dread to think that there are people out there that are trying to find these and spending hundreds of pounds on them because it's I don't think I feel like this is your typical necker kind of made stuff anyway you know they have that habit of making everything just that little bit uh, fragile that I kind of like the idea of the you know the chain needs sorting out a little bit which I will do so it stays around his neck and looks correct um, it's a shame that you can't point his feet down a little bit that he's got like the flat toes but um, hopefully the next Jason that's going to be f this the, the right version of him underwater you may be able to do that I say the base is pretty sturdy looks quite good and it's it's another way to display you know a Jason I do I do have to admit I do like this with the base I think it's nice my Jason does not, does not want to stand up straight. Let me just move him over there and that towards the back. Yeah, there we go. It just needs to be there. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. It is, you know, it's the iconic scene. I remember the bit because the spear guns done in 3D so that I will move my Friday the 13th shelf around and he'll go on there proud of place I will mess around with uh, that isn't quite plugged in correct that's not quite plugged in correct you know I, I don't want to force them while I'm doing it on video I say this is the problem if you're doing things out of the box <laughs> there's more you know you can't I feel like I've got to do it in a bit of a rush yeah for the video so but yeah I like it I'm glad I didn't pay the hundreds of pounds that I've seen these going for I think 30 40 quid sort of price is kind of right it's it's okay you know it 
this bit I like, that is, you know, okay, that is kind of cool, but yeah, it is, it is what it is, it's Necker, isn't it? And that's the thing, we just, we just kind of forgive and forget with Necker, because we go, oh well, never mind. I say the chains, that could have been better designed on there, because they are, you know, I suppose you're not, you're not playing with it, you're just putting it there as a display thing, and that will work fine, and that will stay up, but you just don't want it, you know, you're not going to want to move it once you've put it wherever it's going to be. Yeah, so, hmm. I like them. Like I say, for what I paid for them, it's a pretty good price. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we have the next Jason coming out soon. I'm going to try and pick one of those up. Um, the next NECA figure that I'm hoping to review is, I have a Quint on the way from Jaws. Hopefully he turns up soon. So yeah, it's been it's been a little slow on YouTube this last few weeks. I haven't been able to pick any, you know, manage to get anything dazzling. And I think everybody's now going back into living in the world. So it has got a little quiet, but I'm still here. You know, hopefully, I don't also know if you're getting notified. If, if you want to know when my videos come out, you've got to hit that little ding dong bell next to the subscribe button. Also helps if you subscribe as well. That's a great way of finding out. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go off and try and glue that together and mess about with it. So it'll go. It'll it'll work. So yeah. Hope you guys all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.